Hello, networkers, and welcome back to another episode for Ask Network Engineer. My name is Michael Tomatis, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions about being a network engineer, you can post those questions at rodhub.net slash A-N-E. Okay, so in this episode, I'm going to answer one of the questions from the website, from the poll, and this question is the following. I am currently a network security engineer specialized with routing and switching and security with FortiGate, Politan Networks, ICE, etc. Should I go for a CISSP, which I think they meant to say, CISM or a technical certification like the CCIE security? Okay, so this is really focused around the security realm, okay? And when you get into network security, there are really two primary paths that you do, okay? And remember, security is a high demand field. It is something that is highly sought after. It's a lot of work in that area with cybersecurity. And it's pretty much a big deal because there's a lot of attacks and a lot of compromises that are going on. So companies are looking for people that have specialties with security implementations. Now, so there's two particular security paths that you can do. There's the technical side and there is more the management side. Let's just say that. So the technical side is the individuals that be doing the technical implementations. These are the individuals that be configuring and supporting, designing, the firewall appliances, the next generation of firewall appliances for all of the security features, URL filtering, application control, file blocking, malware protection, those kind of features is what they would manage on those firewall appliances, right? Um, this is also with configuration of other security products that are out there, like with identity control, like Cisco TrustSec and their identity service um, engine appliance, their Cisco ICE services that they have, where you can authenticate based on a user's credentials and apply the appropriate policies to a switch port. So we have training courses on that, for example. So there's other, a lot of different security products out there, but this is really with the operations of that security side. So when we talk about certifications, that would be like the CCIE, security track or the CCNP or the CCNP security tracks that is focused on the security products, services, technologies, and protocols. And of course, I'm talking about VPNs, everything is security related. Well, the management side is really with the information security, information security policies. This one can be a little, can be a little different because this is about individuals that are establishing or creating policies. They're the ones that are creating the rules of what is the security requirements for the organization. So you will see a information security department with a information security officer. I actually have a friend that is a information security officer that I worked with in a previous company, right? And he was, that's what he does. He works on policies. This is really the do's and the don'ts. This is the internet usage, what is required for online banking or some particular network. So these particular set of requirements is what they will write up and they will hand down to the network engineers, to the desktop administrators, to the system administrators, to the database administrators for how that infrastructure should be configured to meet particular set of requirements. Now, information security also pertains to meeting compliances, SOX compliances, HIPAA compliances, PCI requirements. They are also responsible to make sure that all those things are done, which means they're also gonna get involved with doing audits. So that's why there's two different levels there because you may look at that and go, policies, audits, that doesn't sound very exciting, but that is in huge demand. But there's two different levels of that. So if you want to do like the CISSP or the CISM, those certifications are more towards this information um, security path with the policies, doing audits, establishing policy rules. Whereas CCIE 
or CCMP or NP for the security track. That's the technical or the operational side. So when you are starting out and you're doing with the technical stuff, I would definitely say go towards the technical implementation side of things and really getting the experience of managing firewalls and managing the different security products and services out there. Because once you do that for a long period of time, then you can start looking at the information security path of establishing policies. And that really gives you a good foundation if you think about it, because doing that, that means you understand the technical side of things. Now you're getting down to the management and the policy side of things. And that's really what I have seen. So my friend that I worked with a long time ago as a financial institution is where I first met him. That's kind of what he did. He was more in the information policy side and kind of relied on us to manage the firewall side. And that seems to be what the track is. You do the technical side, getting that foundation, because now you understand technology, you understand protocols, you know how to configure, you know what works, what doesn't work. That's really what the technical side, the practical side of things will teach you. And then you can incorporate all of that into the policy side of things, because you know what works, what doesn't work, and how things should be implemented based on your technical experience. So that's what I would recommend to look at between for those certifications based on where you are in your career. And we're done with this episode. If you have any questions about being a network engineer, make sure to go to rodhub.net slash A-N-E and post your questions there and you can vote on other questions that are posted. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, as always, keep networking.